Hey everyone, Thor and Smash here, and today we're going to be talking about a problem that has been plaguing Apex Legends for as long as I can almost remember. That being said, Respawn made some promises before the season began, especially with the Battle Pass, about how things were going to turn around, yet players are noticing that it hasn't seemed to change much. So we're going to go over everything we know. We're also going to go ahead and give out one of the Bangalore Heirloom Recolors. All you guys got to do is like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. But without further ado, let's talk about what's going on with Apex Legends. So Apex Legends in Season 22 has seen a ton of changes come in. However, there there were some really big ones announced before the season started and there were some promises made that just sadly were not kept and this all begins with the controversial battle pass change where they were going to go ahead and make it so that you can no longer use apex coins they were going to go ahead and evolve the battle pass now as most of us know they absolutely reverted that there's now a chance to get the battle pass for free you can still use your apex coins and overall i have to give credit where credit is due i'm glad they finally reverted it and it is really awesome that we have a chance to earn it for free now they went ahead and actually made a statement after this all was changed although i will be clear right now there's a bug going on where it actually shows that it will cost more money on console versus switch and pc they're working on fixing that but besides the point they did make a statement after they reverted the battle pass going over the fact that they were going to go ahead and fix it they then went ahead and in the highlighted white at the very bottom you can see your priorities are our priorities cheaters game stability and quality of life updates are top of mind we need to get better and it's why we're acknowledging them here and they basically let us know that in the future we're going to be getting new stuff to go ahead and fix the game and they're going to be a lot more transparent and vocal about that and i'm not even going to get into the game stability issues right now i think we've covered that enough in videos with rank going down the last couple of weeks twice already and respawn has at least been very vocal about what's getting fixed with it but as many players are reporting right now and this comes actually from fart sniffer some of you guys really got to work on your reddit usernames i'm getting tired of saying some of these but regardless he put out with all the changes it's incredibly disappointing that they couldn't implement the one thing people have requested the most better anti-cheat and this received a ton of comments in response with the top comment being it's really bad this season and a lot of cheaters aren't even trying to hide it they never really need to hide it in the first place and it's a little concerning because anti-cheat has always been the biggest issue in this game Yet we haven't heard any response in a very long time from Respawn on what they are going to do to fix it. If you go ahead and look at Hideouts, who is usually the go-to person to do cheats and bans as they are the public face from it, we haven't received any updates on what's going on with anti-cheat from him. We are getting a lot of information about Alien Romulus, the new movie that just came out about the practical effects, and that there's going to be a stream in the near future after he comes back from the ALGS lane with variety games and music production. That doesn't really help the general player base know exactly what's going on with the anti-cheat. The last time Respawn themselves actually gave us a public a bit of information was when the ALGS actually got hacked and a hacker was able to put cheats on Imperial Hal and Jen Burton's PC during the event. And they did say that our teams have deployed the first of a layered series of updates to protect the Apex Legends player community and create a secure experience for everyone. But that was only because it was such a public scale that they kind of had to address it. For the general player base, we haven't really gotten any new updates whatsoever. There were rumors of a new anti-cheat upgrade in Season 21, where Epic Online Services will replace the current anti-cheat software, Easy Anti-Cheat. Apparently that didn't happen, at least not that I know of. But even if it did, Respawn made no statement on that happening. And I don't know if it's actually something Respawn can ever seem to fix because back when that whole ALGS hack happened there's an article that came out that was the issue anti-cheat or source engine and that there was an entire reddit thread where the source of the vulnerability is not anti-cheat but the source engine used by the dev there's similar issues found in team fortress 2 and counter-strike go and cs go but because apex legends was developed on a heavily modified version of this technology it is possible that it's having the same exact exploit which is interesting because the anti-cheat police which is a pretty big anti-cheat team slash user on twitter actually talked to the guy who hacked the algs saying that there is currently an rce exploit being abused in play apex and the rce is being abused to inject cheats into streamers machines which means they have the capabilities to whatever like installing ransomware software locking up your entire pc which is a huge issue and respawn once again never let us know exactly what happened with that algs hack just that they had done some updates we haven't seen it since but that's not any indication that it's gone away not to mention that is just issues that pc players are impacted by on the season ranked is kind of a joke if you are even able to play it regularly without it going down all the time but if you're on console well you have to deal with strike packers and six manner which is also interesting because apex legends news put out a tweet a long time ago 
Going over strike packs, you can turn weapons into single fire, full auto, reduce recoil, and more. However, Respawn had banned strike packs from ALGS, they said, meaning they have a way to detect and ban users. So if they have a way to do that, why hasn't it been implemented onto the main system? In fact, I'll go ahead and play this clip right here because this is an issue that we've been having the last couple seasons, yet six manners and nine manners have continued to be an issue in Apex Legends. Watch right here. How are you so bad using a Zen on a six-man team? You can't even kill them. It is so incredibly frustrating if you are trying to play this game competitively that I've completely given up playing in high rank lobbies because I'm just tired of running into six and nine manners using strike packs. It's almost impossible just to have an actual rank system unless Respawn makes some announcements on what they're gonna do soon. If they aren't capable of actually fixing the cheating problem and getting rid of it, then fine, you just need to admit that. On the flip side, if you have something in the works that's finally gonna go ahead and fix some stuff, go ahead and put out the message so the player base knows that we're actually being heard, and this isn't gonna be something that's only addressed when pro players are impacted by it. And my question is, if it is actually something with the engine itself with Source, are they going to upgrade it to a brand new Source engine, or like I said, is this an impossible issue for Respawn to fix, and it will forever be a problem? Let me know down below, do you think the anti-cheat is going to be a problem that Respawn and Apex Legends will ever fix, or something that will last for the game's entire life cycle? Also, don't forget to check out this video right here by my editor Novell, who does amazing Apex Legends content, and until next time everyone, keep slaying in the Outlands. I'll see you out there.